Hello audio file. Today we'll show you a DIY method to easily build a high quality speaker cable with your own length and plug requirements. In the previous video I showed you how to build a good quality subwoofer and RCA interconnect cables. In today's step by step cable making guide, I'm also using the same style of branded cable sleeving so that my wires look coordinate. You already know that sound quality is influenced by how your cables look because the audio world is partly about visual appeal. But an oak talk, let's get to real work. As always, to build something like this, you may have to borrow your grandmother's soldering tool kit. You will also need to buy speaker cable plugs, which are also called banana plugs. If you are interested in speaker cables with spade connectors, Check out my other video, a link to the speaker plugs is below the video. You also need to buy speaker cables in the length you require. A common rule is to spend around 1-5% to of your total audio system budget on speaker cables. You will also need branded cable sleeving in the proper size for your audio cables. Start by carefully burning the end of the branded cable sleeving so it does not unravel. Then slide the sleeving onto the cable. The longer the cable, the more time you will need to do this. When the sleeving is pulled all the way to the other end, decide how long you want the cable ends to be without sleeving. It all depends on your personal choice. At the chosen mark, stick one double side tape. This will help secure the brained cable sleeving so your cable will look new for years. Then slide the cable sleeving over the double side tape. Trim off any extra sleeving and carefully burn the end to seal it. Next, carefully separate the two wires without damaging the cable's outer jacket. Take your chosen speaker plugs and check how much of the cable jacket needs to be removed. The most speaker plugs are made to be screwed onto cables, but since metal oxidizes and the speaker connection may become loose, I prefer to solder them. This way you can ensure the best connection over time. As you know, a system is only as good as its weakness part. After you remove the required length of the cable jacket from the bulked wires, cut hitching tubing to the proper length so you can clearly mark which plug is for the positive and which for the negative speaker terminals. Slide bulk hitching tubings onto the wires and shrink them. This gives the cable the better look and help connect cable to correct speaker terminals. Then cut the hitching tubing that has hot glue inside. This type will lock the cable sleeving in place so that it never slips off. Regular hitching tubing also works because the double side tape under the sleeving helps secure it. Next, thin bulk wires to make soldering easier and to get a better result. Then thin the speaker plugs as well. Solder bulk plugs to wires. Remember these plugs get very hot so be careful. Now cut a slightly longer piece of hitching tubing, stretch it out and slide it over the first hitching tubing to improve the quality and look. Screw the plug housing back together and one end of the cable is complete. Then pull the cable sleeving several times and measure how long you want the wires at the other end of cable. Trim the sleeving off at that point. At the market spot, apply double side tape and slide the sleeving over it to secure it. Next, separate the two wires again. Check how much of the cable jacket should be removed and trim the black and red hitching tubing accordingly. Then using a multimeter, check which wire is red and which is black. Shrink the hitching tubing on both wires. Then cut the glue at line at hitching tubing, stretch it out and slide it over the sleeving so that it fits nicely and holds together well. Thin bulk wires and plugs again. This makes soldering the wires to the plugs much easier and improve the quality of the solder joints. Now put the plug housing onto the wires because with this plug model you cannot attach the housing after soldering. Then solder bulk wires, remember they get very hot, so wait until they cool down. While they cool, take a moment to loop the result. I really like these custom built high quality speaker cables. Once the plugs have cooled, screw them together firmly because if they are they loosened, they make vibrate with by stones and making noise. 
then be sure to do a quality check by making sure the wires are soldered correctly and that there are no short circuits. Once the first cable is complete, make the second one in the same way. In the end you will have two quality, unique speaker cables that will last for years. Systems may change and improve, but a good speaker cables will always be with you. If you have any suggestions or questions while watching this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment. Now, back to the listening music.